Hi everybody, Cher here with you. Welcome to my channel. Happy day before Halloween. My goal today is to help get you guys in a little bit more of the Halloween spirit and what better way to do that than to make some Halloween cupcakes. Let's get started. So these adorable little Dracula cupcakes is what I'm gonna be showing you how to make today. So let's get started. So you're obviously gonna need some prepared cupcakes. I just happened to whip up a batch of some chocolate ones uh, last night, so they are good to go. And you're gonna need some frosting of some sort, which you can definitely use your own, own icing, your own buttercream. I was in a bit of a time crunch this morning, so I am just using out of a can, and that's totally fine. So I went ahead and I put some black food coloring in this just to make it a little darker and I put some green in this one for the actual face to have, so we'd have a nice green face. You're going to need a little package of Tic Tacs. Those are for the fangs. Now for the eyes you have a few options. You can either use some chocolate chips, you can use just some icing, or you could use those little candy little eyeballs that you can also get. I've seen them at Michael's. I've even seen them at Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get these iced and I'm going to show you how easy these come together. So the first step is to ice your little cupcake here with the green. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this right on my cupcake. And a little tip for you guys, if you put your cupcakes in the freezer ahead of time, which I did not, it definitely helps with reducing the amount of crumbs that you get when you frost your cupcakes. So I'm just trying to be really careful not to get too many crumbs here. But anyways, there we go. So that's ready. So the next step is to put the little hair on our little guy. So I'm using this tip that I got from Michael's. It's actually a Wilton 233. That's the number that's on there. And what it is, is I think it's meant for mainly to do grass, but I'm using it to make hair and it works really, really well for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start kind of in the middle of the cupcake here, because he has a bit of a receding hairline. <laughs> and all you do is you just push and pull. Push and pull. I love this tip. It is so quick and easy to use and you get a really cool effect with this one. So I'm just gonna go all the way around Kind of make his little sideburns here, and then I'm going to flip it around and we'll do the other side. And our little Dracula is starting to take shape already. And then I'm just going to come back and I'm going to fill in some of these areas so his hair is a little thicker around his little face here. I'd love to hear what you guys are all doing for Halloween. Megan's going out trick-or-treating and me and my boyfriend are gonna stay home and hand out candy. <laughs> She's going with a couple of her friends. I think this probably will be her last year because she's getting kind of to that stage where she's almost done with that. But there we go. That's what our little, little guy's looking like so far. So now we need to just uh, give him a little bit of a face. So to do that, I'm going to change my tip and I'm going to put this little round one on here next and that's what I'm going to use to make the mouth and to make the little eyes. So I'm all ready to go here. I'm going to go ahead and put the little eyes right on this little guy. Like I said, you could use chocolate chips or whatever you'd like for that part. So Larry has some little eyes and then I'm just going to make a little mouth right like that. And the last step that's really gonna finish him off is to put his little fangs on. So I'm gonna grab a couple of Tip Tacs and we'll just put those right into place. And voila, how cute is that? Oh my gosh, that's gonna make some little trick-or-treater or coworker or neighbor or friend or whoever <laughs> really happy to sink their teeth into one of those. So here are my little Draculas, all decorated up and ready to go. This brought back a lot of memories, actually. Megan and I used to make these years ago uh, for, you know, grade school, Halloween parties, um, when she was in Girl Guides. I, I, yeah, we've made these a lot of times, and we had so many, so many good memories doing that. And so I thought this would be kind of a fun opportunity to share this with you guys, so you can make some new memories with your kids as well. And yeah, they are really, really cute and everybody loves them. So they will be a big hit wherever you take them. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Hope you all have a very happy and safe Halloween. And until next time, bye for now, everybody.